We're on your side this morning with a Crime Stoppers alert. Dayton police are investigating new reports of crooks impersonating cops. And in the most recent case, the fake officers got away with thousands of dollars in cash. Jordan Burgess is live now with this morning's top story. Jordan. Well, right now, officers here at headquarters continue to investigate. They're trying to get those police posers off the streets. The men have made a bad impression with seniors in the Westwood neighborhood, and their latest crime might be the worst one yet. And take a look at some video of one of the men who police say is involved. Now watch as that person tries to use a credit card at a Walgreens. The card was stolen from one of the victims, but it was denied. Now we know about a case where the men did get away with some money, ripping off a 96-year-old woman of $3,500. Now much like in the other three incidents, the men said they were Dayton police detectives. They told the woman they had a check for her but needed to verify her signature. So they took her to a bank and she signed a check they quickly cashed. The men then had someone in a van take the woman home. Police think that's part of the scam as well. And the targets have all been seniors in the Westwood neighborhood. They're playing on people's trust, going around acting as officers. And I believe that's cowardly that they're doing that. But in the meantime, it's something that I can't really say that I'm surprised about them doing. Now, the two men in this case were described as being about 5'10 and heavy set. Now, police say there are some things you can do to protect yourself. One is you can call dispatch if some officers show up at your door to confirm that those really are Dayton police officers. Another thing you can do is to ask not only to see their badges, because the men in this case had badges, but their picture ID badges, and that might help identify them as well. Now, if you have any information in this case, call Crime Stoppers at 222-STOP. That's 222-7867. And stay with Two News throughout the day for the latest on this investigation. But for now, reporting live, Jordan Burgess, Two News on Your Side.